And as we head to the eighth, don't forget over on TNT, the Diamondbacks and the Brewers are at it. That is an elimination game for the Diamondbacks. The Brewers can advance to the NLCS with a victory tonight in Phoenix. It is three to one Arizona in the fourth inning. That ball game over on TNT. And here on TBS, we move into the eighth. Alex Rodriguez leads off. Phil Koch for his second inning of work. The Yankees get five and two thirds from A.J. Burnett, just one earned run. Soriano retires four straight, goes an inning and a third on just nine pitches. After surrendering the go ahead home run yesterday, as Rodriguez whistles one to center, that's a base hit. Alex Rodriguez has his first hit of the ALDS. Even at this time, you can have a little fun in the high pressure situation these guys are in. If you can't enjoy it, it's going to swallow you up. Now to Shara, turns around right handed against Coke. Phil Koch trying to keep the Yankees at four. Looking ahead to the bottom of the eighth inning, the Tigers will have the big part of their order coming up. Two, three, and four. It's Santiago, Delman Young, Miguel Cabrera. If anybody gets on, Victor Martinez. And that's the part of the order that Leland wants to get something done in the bottom of the eighth. Shara, slow roller, third base, and that is a fair ball and a base hit. Once Betamit saw that bounce, he had to put a glove on it so it didn't get by him. So an infield hit, first and second now for the Yankees. One thing you also see at other stadiums, there's a little patch of dirt between the foul line and the grass. Yeah. Here, the grass goes right to the foul line. Just very little room yeah. for that ball to get in that gutter and kick left. There'll be a little press conference with the grounds crew today <laughs> after the game. <laughs> That's a break for Teixeira. His second hit of this postseason. Nick Swisher with two on. Well, the task is tough enough for the Tigers down three with David Robertson and Mariano Rivera ahead. Imperative that Coke. Keeps the Yankees at four. Meanwhile, New York, they certainly know they can deliver a knockout punch here in this eighth inning. That's the way they normally bounce. <laughs> that one stayed foul. Jeter and Soriano. Jeter had the big hit in the third. Opened up the scoring for the Yankees. Soriano bridges the gap to David Robertson, the setup man. Swisher looking for a big hit in the postseason. Starting to develop as a story for him in his postseason career. He is 0 for 28 with runners in scoring position. Hasn't had a hit in the postseason. That's postseason experience with the Athletics, the White Sox, and now the Yankees. And there is that base hit. Rodriguez around third will stop there. The bases are loaded for the Yankees. And let's check in with Tom Verducci downstairs. Tom? Well, the Yankees are the first team this postseason to face an elimination game on the road. And that has not been a comfortable position for them. Go back to the Game 7 2001 World Series. They've been on the road for an elimination game five times, lost all five of those games, including one right here in Detroit in 06. 
Trying to push it to another day. Thanks, Tom. Al Albuquerque is the new pitcher. Jesus Montero is the hitter off the bench. Also have a pinch runner at first base. Chris Dickerson running for Nick Swisher. Talk about throwing into the fire. Albuquerque now twice has been brought in by Leland with the bases loaded. Yeah, welcome to the postseason, <laughs> kid. Robinson Cano hit the grand slam off Albuquerque at Yankee Stadium in game one. He has a devastating slider. It has been his best pitch. He did not give up a home run the entire season in the regular season in his rookie year. But he hung a slider against Robinson Cano and Cano put it away. Now Montero trying to do the same. Well on the 1 0 pitch another little slider in the middle of the plate it didn't do anything and. Just a long home run grand slam for Cano who. Now has four grand slams to go back to the regular season his last seven at bats. The 21 year old Jesus Montero. Well he did some damage that's a balk Albuquerque called for a balk by the home plate umpire. And the runners will advance. Rodriguez will score. Five to one Yankees. I think what you're going to see here is that he broke his hands before he stepped off the mound. You want to step back but you don't want to break your hands first. See so he breaks his hands before that back foot gets off the rubber. That is a box. What you have to do is you step off the rubber then you break your hands. Big cut by Montero and that's something every pitcher knows. I mean that, it didn't look like much. But it was called immediately. It no was, argument. It was it was enough, and you, you didn't see Jimmy Leland, Leland going out, so that gives you the best indication. Interesting, the rookie Montero swinging three and zero. Oh. Montero has big power. Hit four homers in just 18 games for the Yankees. After being called up from the minor leagues, the Yankees are loaded with catching prospects in their system. They've got Montero, Austin Romine, caught a double A this year. And a young catcher down in single A named Gary Sanchez. So they they've stacked themselves pretty heavy on a premier position in baseball. And Montero is at the top of the list, which is pretty rare. Most organizations have a dearth of catching prospects. He hit 18 home runs in the minor leagues this year. A triple A. And that gets by Betamy. That's a base hit. In the score is to Shara. They will hold Dickerson as Jesus Montero in his first postseason at bat comes up with an RBI single. And the Yankees now lead it six to one over the Tigers. Still nobody out. As Russell Martin takes one upstairs. I guess there has to be some concern for Jim Leland about Al Albuquerque. You know he's he's given up his first balk he gave up his first home run which is a grand slam. A young pitcher in his first season who was lights out had so much success during the regular year. And has had none in the postseason so far. Well two tough situations to come into no room for error I highly doubt a lot of those situations happened in the regular season but. There's a different breathing method there's a different thing that goes into squeezing the baseball. The freedom of throwing a baseball in the regular season is a little different than the postseason. Pitch coach Jeff Jones is going to come out and settle down his rookie right hander. Well, what you talked about early in the open, Ron, the inability to hit with runners in scoring position. The Yankees have been awfully difficult, different today. Four for nine and have delivered at the right time for them to extend this series and get back to their friendly confines, Yankee Stadium. Yankees one of the better winning percentages at home in the big leagues this year. They were 52 and 29 in their home stadium. So Jeff Jones has had his say Albuquerque back to work. The Tigers bring their infield in with nobody out. And Albuquerque misses again.
Montero was swinging 3 0. Will Martin swing 3 0? Ball four. Base is loaded. So we'll see how it goes with the Diamondbacks and the Brewers who are playing right now on TNT. Daniel Slareth, the new pitcher. Five batters in this inning, four hits and a walk. Still nobody out, and the base is loaded for the Yankees. And it is six to one with Brett Gardner coming up. Well, the Yankees have just applied a steady attack tonight. They scored two in the third, two in the fifth. They've added two here in the eighth. And threatening for a big inning to put this one away and send it back to New York for game five Thursday. Gardner has a hit tonight. He's one for three. He singled and scored a run in the fifth inning. Now with four hits. In four games of this American League Division Series. And that one ripped to center field down for a hit. In the score Dickerson Montero will be held. And the line keeps moving a snap throw to third Montero is back safely. Base is still loaded. Another run is in. And the Tigers are having a hard time getting an out in this eighth inning. Yeah, this is a situation right here. We're playing loose. Everything feels good. Another base hit. And if you're the Yankees, you're kind of hoping that you don't have that day off tomorrow. <laughs> and you can just keep going and keep motoring. But there will be a day off tomorrow. Each team will refocus and try to establish themselves in a better way come game five. How about another RBI for Gardner? The money in this series. Even Rafael Soriano has a bat in his hands. So here's Jeter back to the top of the order. Six consecutive base runners for the Yankees. Well, for as weird as this series started, both teams using two starters in game one, they're going to be relying. On more than likely those game one starters to pitch game five. Fister for Detroit and Nova for the Yankees. They used two starters, but two of them actually were relievers. Technically, that's, relievers, that's, right. That's yeah. right. Bullpen appearances by Nova and Fister. Fister, you look at his numbers from from that game and not indicative of how he pitched. I thought he pitched a pretty decent ball game until he ran into trouble at the end but I think the Tigers are very confident with Doug Fister and what he's able to do to the Yankees. Well those numbers look bad at the end because of the grand slam by Cano mm -hmm. off Albuquerque. Did he go. No he didn't says Ted Barrett. So we got check swing boy awfully close he definitely could have called that. Larrett during the season with the bases loaded gave up a couple of grand slams. And Jeter able to check it again. Seven to one New York. The first three runs that have scored in this inning. The run so far belonged to Phil Coke, who goes an inning plus. He worked a scoreless seventh, did not get an out in the eighth. Jim Leland said Justin Verlander was done for the DS. You wouldn't see him again until the ALCS. We'll see about that. Verlander was the winner last night struck out 11 and in eight innings. Giving the Tigers a two games to one advantage in the series but the Yankees have come back. 
And they have slugged their way back. Seven runs on ten hits. Jeter does swing at that one. Schlereth strikes him out. The first out of the eighth inning. Thank you, Matt. Josh Colmenter and Sean Markham. A couple of starting pitchers who get outs. Very unusual manner. Not the overpowering stuff either way. Markham and Colmenter. Good ball game going in Arizona. Granderson takes a strike. Both those pitchers have outstanding changeups. Got to pitch backwards sometimes. Using that good breaking pitches early in the count, finishing off hitters with their fastball. And a lot of Tigers fans certainly connected to the Arizona Diamondbacks through Kirk Gibson, D backs manager. Alan Trammell. Alan Trammell is bench coach. Yeah, you bet. You Boy. can't walk five feet at Comerica Park without seeing a Kirk Gibson image. Avila has taken a beating. He's hurt his knee already and this one right off the top mm. of his kneecap. I don't care how much equipment you have on that hurts. I guarantee you there was something said in that Yankee clubhouse similar to hey boys we got to go home we might as well take a team with us. <laughs> and if the Tigers are going to go <laughs> back to New York they're going to bring some extra luggage because they want to go out west. If they're going to continue their season so. Yankees either way going home knowing they're going to stay there one way or the other. They're going to win and keep playing at home. But at least they forced the team to come home with them. So far. Bases loaded for Granderson. And a little layoff. The Texas Rangers advancing. Texas the first team to advance. To the league championship series. They beat the Tampa Bay Rays three games to one. Adrian Beltre with three home runs today for the Rangers. And when you asked Joe Girardi about his struggling offense, he was quick to give you the numbers on Adrian Beltre, Ron. One for 11 prior to today's performance, the three home run game. And if you're the Texas Rangers, you're hoping these two teams not only go five, but play all night on Thursday. Deplete all their pitching. And that gets away, bounces over the net and into the stands. And it gets a little uglier in the eighth inning for the Tigers. Another run is in. Have a run scored on a base hit, an RBI the old fashioned way. You've had a balk. And now a wild pitch brings in a run. It really turns over that slider. Really nothing that Avila could do. He tried to get his body in front of that, glanced off his left arm, and went over the backstop. Once again, three straight pitches trying to make the perfect pitch after getting them 0 2. That's what this guy at the plate will make a pitcher do spin it harder, trying to make that perfect pitch. He's thrown them all in the dirt. And he strikes him out. So back to back strikeouts for Schlereth. He gets Jeter and Granderson, two away in the inning, and the ninth batter of the inning, Robinson Cano, will step in. Robbie Cano is 0 for 3. He was intentionally walked in the fifth inning. Watch the heel it back there. That athletic move, turning, spinning him around. Just made a friend out of Dan Isonia. I can guarantee <laughs> that. Right. Took one right off his arm. Four runs in for the Yankees. First four batters reached via hits, then there was a walk, and then another hit. 
Six consecutive base runners to start the inning. And a little jam shot. Cano drops one into left field. And this will bring two in. As Robinson Cano with two RBIs. And the Yankees are pouring it on in the Motor City now. The Yankees have scored six runs in this eighth inning on six hits. And the new pitcher Ryan Perry. Alex Rodriguez a swing and a miss. Out of good arms in that pen. Can they hone in the stuff when it counts the most here coming into game five. There's no such thing as a good loss. But for the Tigers. This might be one of those things where they just said OK it wasn't our game we get them in game five. Another base hit. Well, the Yankees look like they cannot be finished off here in this eighth inning. Wow. Well you've seen a lot of inexperience coming out of that bullpen for Jim Leland. Uh, but the one thing you do not like to see. Is Rodriguez who has struggled this entire series that bat speed is now starting to quicken. He's starting to get hot getting a little confidence. And uh, that's not a good thing for the Tigers. Alex Rodriguez 0 for 12. Prior to this inning. And now two hits in this inning. That's three runs batted in he had a sacrifice fly at an RBI in the fifth. And the beat goes on for the Yankees. A relentless offense and. In their full force here in this eighth. Well, you have to believe Yankees fans are glad to see this. Their offense was in question. They had a big game in game one. Really, it was Cano and Gardner in game one. But uh, the Tiger pitching staff and Justin Verlander is a big part of that, of course, yesterday, shutting them down for games two and three, and now unloading on the Tigers today. Ten runs, 12 hits. And I think most people are going to think that they came out of their cocoon uh, in this game. Don't forget that in yesterday's game off Verlander had some of his best stuff. They did get four runs off him. So I think part of that process started yesterday. Now with a six run inning on the board is your plan for Girardi still to go Robertson. Still to go Rivera to try to finish this one off or does it change now. I don't know if Robertson is as important as Rivera. I think Rivera has to get an inning in with the off day on Thursday. Which would mean. Another non save opportunity for Mariano Rivera he pitched. In a nine three ball game in game one. I felt as though Robertson's control was a little off so he could use an inning to get back out there mm -hmm. And get three outs, and then Rivera pitched the ninth. Teixeira rips one right field. Kelly playing deep is there to make the catch, and this inning is finally over for the Tigers. But the Yankees, big damage, six runs in the eighth. They lead 10 to 1.